Today we will be going over tractor safety. Tips, tricks, ways that you can stay safe on the tractor, off the tractor, around equipment, on the farm, and basically anything that you can do to prevent any harm to yourself or others. Before you operate a tractor, lawnmower, whatever it may be, work around equipment, it's important to arrive with proper clothing. Make sure your clothing isn't baggy so that it can't get caught in anything. If you have long hair, you tie it up to make sure that that doesn't get caught in anything. It is also recommended that you cover your toes with closed toed shoes. You could wear boots or sneakers, but make sure that your toes are covered. Also pants. Pants will help protect you from anything, whether it's debris when you're weed whacking or even hydraulic oil when you're trying to put a hose in and the oil sprays, you don't want the hot oil covering your legs. So pants are also recommended. Now what you can add are simple things such as gloves when working around things such as hot oil or a PTO or any machine really to protect your hands is probably a good idea so that you don't injure yourself because when you're working on something you want to stay focused and if something's hot that'll definitely catch you off guard. Another thing you could wear to protect your eyes are glasses, sunglasses, safety glasses, goggles, anything that'll keep debris from spitting up into your eyes that'll affect your, first of all, ability to operate, and secondly, your ability to see. You only have two eyes, and you probably wanna keep them for a while. Another thing you can add that is recommended when you're driving, and you don't need this necessarily when you're working on something like a PTO or hooking up to a piece of equipment, but definitely when you're driving, is ear protection. 20, 30 years down the road, you don't want to be deaf, so that's a good thing. But also, it kind of helps you stay focused on what you have to do. You don't need a fancy one, you could use earplugs, but these earmuffs have a radio, provide a little entertainment. So, with that, those are the things that you can add to yourself to make how you operate safer. Now, let's look at what the tractor has to keep you safe and keep those around you even safer. A rollover protection system is built into tractors to prevent harm to the operator should the tractor tip over. If the tractor tips over, the rollover protection system, or ROPS, will be there to prevent the operator from being crushed by the tractor. Not all tractors have this, so it is important to note whether your tractor does and to be safe when operating tractors on a hill. The orange triangle you see on the back of a tractor or a piece of equipment is called a Slow Moving Vehicle Sign, or SMV for short. This lets others know that the machine in front of them will be going slower than the normal speed limit. The rear end of the tractor is where all the action happens. This is where you find the three-point hitch, hydraulic inputs, the PTO, and the drawbar hitch. When working around this area, make sure that the tractor is turned off and the PTO is not engaged. You will notice that the PTO of the tractor has a shield around it to protect you in the event that the PTO is engaged and you have to walk around the back of the tractor. However, it is still important to be careful as the PTO will always be moving while the tractor is running if engaged. When attaching hydraulic hoses to the inputs on the back of the tractor, make sure to do so carefully wearing gloves so that you don't splatter hot oil on yourself or others. You will know that the hydraulic hoses are locked in place when they click. And if you can't pull them out with a little bit of force, they are ready to go. The most important part of hooking up a piece of equipment is the pin and safety clip. Make sure they are both in and ready to go before you start moving the tractor. When ready and everything is ready to go, climb onto or into the tractor by grabbing onto the handles provided 
and stepping onto the steps so that you can climb into the cab or onto the tractor safely. Once you sit down, if you can, strap your seatbelt in and you are ready to go.